Hi, it's Chris with Shopman Card Apps. In this session, we'll cover adding proper Microsoft Ads conversion and revenue tracking code to your Shopify store. This is in addition to the UET tag you've already placed in your Shopify template files, which we've covered in another session. Proper conversion and revenue tracking ensures that both the number of Microsoft Ads conversions and the exact value of those conversions is properly recorded in Microsoft Ads. This is so you can make informed decisions on how to optimize your campaigns for better return on ad spend. So let's get started. Log into your Shopify store admin. Select settings. Select checkout. Scroll down to the order processing section and stop at additional scripts. Now in a separate browser, log into your Microsoft Ads account. Select UET tag under conversion tracking. Now, usually there is only one UET tag per site in the same account. Here we have a few to choose from, and that's simply because this account is used for demonstrations, and once a tag is created, it can't be removed. So select view tag for the one you want to use on the site. Select copy and copy the code. Switch back to the Shopify admin tab and paste the code at the bottom of any existing code. Just make sure not to paste the UET tag code in the middle of anything else. At this point, you are tracking conversions, but you'll need to add an additional bit of code we've developed to track the revenue associated with conversions. Being able to pass this data back to Microsoft Ads is critical when optimizing your campaigns in Microsoft Ads. To access this revenue tracking code, open another tab and go to the Help Center located at shoppingcartapps.com. Search for Microsoft Ads Conversion and Revenue Tracking. Scroll down and track the revenue section and copy the code listed below. Now go back to the Shopify admin tab and paste the revenue tracking code below in the UET tag. Finally, select save. You are now all set up with conversions and revenue tracking for all campaign types in Microsoft Ads. That's all for now. Until next time, keep it simple, keep it fun, and keep at it.